experiment, it's very important that we have safety rules. So, let's talk about rules for science experiments. We must first read the directions. Number two, make sure your body is safe and you're protected from chemicals. The third thing that you need to do is get an adult. So if you are allowed to do the experiment alone, always get permission first. And last but not least, when you're doing science experiments, no rough housing. So although science is fun, things could get knocked over. You can have accidents, you could get hurt, The name of this experiment is Storm in a Glass. You'll need shaving cream, a large glass, water, food coloring, and a spoon. Instructions. Number one. Fill the glass half full with water. Number two, spray some shaving cream on top of the water to fill the glass to three-fourths full. Number three, use your finger or a spoon to spread the shaving cream evenly over the top of the water. The top of the shaving cream should be flat. Number four, mix half a cup of water with 10 drops of food coloring in a separate container. Gently add the colored water, spoonful by spoonful, to the top of the shaving cream. When it gets too heavy, watch it storm. Clouds in the sky hold on to water. They can hold millions of gallons. The layer of shaving cream is our pretend cloud in this experiment. The shaving cream layer can also hold on to water, but just like our shaving cream, clouds can't keep storing more and more water forever, and eventually they get too heavy. When that happens, the water falls out, precipitates as rain, snow, sleet, or hail. The name of this experiment is layers of liquids. Here are your materials. The great thing about this experiment is that you can mix the liquids in any order, but to begin with, this is our suggestion. Instructions. Number one, fill the glass about halfway with regular water. Number two, add a drop of food coloring if you have some. Be careful not to add too much food coloring or you might not be able to see what is taking place.
Number three. Slowly pour some of the syrup into the water and observe what happens. Does it sink or does it float? Number four. Slowly add some of the oil. Just fill your spoon with the oil. Hold the spoon just above the water level, touching the side of the glass, and slowly release the oil into the water. What happens? Does the oil sink or float? This is how it works. Each of these liquids have different densities. Density is the amount of molecules per square inch in a substance. The denser liquids have more molecules and this causes them to sink to the bottom. The less dense liquids float. You're watching Tootie's Education Empire. We're releasing new videos every week, just like this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the fun.